All right, today on this 2007 Ford F-250 Super Duty, we're gonna show you the Bulldog wiring kit, part number BDW20206. Now this kit is designed for, to provide power for a winch at the back of your truck. We got a 20 foot long cable here, or end for a winch already connected on. We also have a cap on the end to protect it when it's not being used. And it also comes with the opposite end for your winch to match up to and the lugs as well. Okay. At the end of our cables, both ends have a ring terminals already installed on them to go directly to your battery. And also, some very stout zip ties as well. And this is constructed from a two gauge wire. So basically you can think of this as a nice extension of your battery from the front of your truck. All right, let's go ahead and install it. All right, first up is go ahead and find a location that you want for your plug right here for your winch. So I'm gonna keep this one pretty close to the center of a hitch. So just in case if the winch doesn't have a long enough lead, it doesn't have to go very far. So we'll probably just use one of the long zip ties that comes with the kit and hold this in place. And basically we're gonna continue on at this point running our cable up towards the front of the vehicle. In our case here, we're gonna stay on the passenger side of the vehicle and work our way up. Since our vehicle is a diesel, it has less accessories on the batteries on this side. Of course, if you had a gas burner, you probably wanna run it on the other side of the truck up towards the battery where it's usually at. And our truck is also a crew cab with a six foot bed and it's gonna max out our length of our wire. So we're gonna need every little bit of help to get up there. Okay, now when we run our wire up to the front of the vehicle, up to the battery, we'll make sure we stay away from anything moving like suspension components or anything hot like the exhaust. And once we get up to the front, we wanna make sure we stay away from the steering components as well. So we zip tied to our hitch here, went up, made a gentle curve around our spare tire. And we basically went through the front frame supports as far as we could up towards the front. We still need to zip tie some of the wires here, but so you can see it right here, we just laid it right in the frame. So we'll use our zip ties as best we can, any place we can to, ho to help hold our wire up in place, make sure it's safe and secure and out of the way. And then when we got up to the transmission up here, we basically went over the frame and went to the outside. All right, so now we're outside the frame here in the fender wheel, and basically we just stay behind the fender wheel liner and use some available holes to zip tie and just push it on top of the suspension. We went up right next to the battery. All right, now we're at our battery. We'll go ahead and connect up. First off, we'll do our ground here, black to black. We'll loosen up the clamp here to make our connection. Okay, all right, and then we'll go ahead and take our wire, and we'll go ahead and bolt it right back into place. Now, our loop is gonna be way too big for this bolt, so we're gonna have to use a washer to help take up some of the slack. Now, flat washers we're using are size number 10. Okay, we just got some small washers that happen to match the bolt. That'll get the most contact on the ring terminal for the wire. When we go over to our positive side of the battery, we have a little bit easier to go with it. We have a nice stud we can use here and we're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket for that. And then the, the factory hardware will work fine to hold it in place. And that's all it really takes to electrically hook up our wires. Let's go ahead and check out our work. We're gonna use a regular old light tester, ground our clamp to the negative side, and we'll check the positive side. Okay, looks like it works just fine. Now we'll go ahead and put our cap into place. We'll actually run this through the little uh, loop right here underneath the bumper. 
then it'll run it back over itself. Kind of a tight fit. And that'll hold our cap for us when the cable's being used. And we're good to go. Now our last part is, is the other half of our connector right here. Okay, now this was designed to go onto your winch or whatever accessory you have on your trailer. Now it does come with the ends to convert it. This end here is designed to be crimped and soldered onto your wires. Again, this is designed for two gauge wire. Look at this round surface of the connector right here. And we got this round surface on our tab. We'll go ahead and push those two in. That was, of course, this would be on your wire already installed. And we push into place. All right, and with that, that'll finish it for the Bulldog wiring kit, part number BDW20206 from Bulldog on this 2007 Ford F-250 Super Duty.